Hey everyone, Ross here, and today I'm gonna to show you the six things that we think about every time we price up a project. So whether you're just starting out as a freelancer or you're building a production company, when pricing up a job, these are the things that you need to be charging for and that you need to think about as well. Because it clearly communicates to the client why the price is what it is. And it will enable you to get the best price for your work. So in this video, I'm just gonna focus about the items that you want to be thinking about rather than how much you should actually be charging. That's for another video. So you, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do and head over to our Perspective Academy Facebook group where we list all of these videos including successes, failures, live Q and A's. So you have everything you need to build a successful production company or go freelance. So the first thing you need to think about is pre-production. Is there any pre-production required for this project? Now, we don't always charge pre-production here because not every shoot requires it. Sometimes if you're working with a client where it's simply a run and gun sort of thing, whether it's an event or something of that nature, then perhaps you don't need to be storyboarding. And some clients actually really find the process of storyboarding extremely annoying. And we've had a lot of work in the past from clients who have said that they're unhappy with their production company because they asked so many questions. So the first thing when pricing up a job is you just need to obtain whether or not you think from the conversations you've had with the client, if there's gonna be a level of pre-production in terms of mood boards, storyboards, animatics as well. So things like that. The second thing you need to think about is your filming time itself. And how long is this gonna take this will normally be quite an obvious one to you anyway, because that's how you're gonna price it up. Is it gonna take you half a day, a day, or multiple days? It's quite common for people to do discounts based on multiple days of filming and ed editing. And also some people will charge a half day, but I think unless it's a project you really want to do, I don't think you should charge a half day. And the reason for that is because there's no such thing. If you can fit in two jobs in a day, then good luck to you, especially if they're high quality jobs. If it is two little jobs, then you might want to consider that and base that on a per project kind of basis. But for the most part, it's rare that the client will pick an AM or a PM slot, therefore relating to four hours or half a day working time. But think about your filming time and that's gonna be listed as a new line item on your invoice or your estimate. Okay, moving on to another obvious factor is editing. So editing time, how long do you think with your experience will it take to get that job done? Now, if you are providing an estimate rather than a quote, so a quote is an exact amount that you're gonna charge for this job, an estimate is an estimated amount. So we only provide estimates here at Perspective because of the nature of the job, things are moving and changing all the time. But clients don't like the final job to be more than your estimates. So also keep this in mind, allow a little bit of leeway. You can always bring the price down, but to bring your price up is going to create an air of distrust in you. Even though you might have made it plain as day beforehand, they're still gonna forget that and they're always gonna remember the lowest number. So keep that in mind. But editing time is another line item on your job sheet. Now we're into looking into the things around the edit. So we've got your pre-production if that's needed, your filming time and your editing time. I haven't listed this as a separate item, but you do want to think about equipment. We reflect our equipment as all equipment included within our day rates. So that you may want to do the same. It makes it easier because the client's not gonna know whether they want a red cam or an A7S. You know, they're just gonna wanna know what is the price. So we include the equipment in the package. If you are renting, then you want to think about this in advance of your pricing too. But item number four is gonna be music. So if you're signed up to a royalty-free uh, music site such as Artlist or Soundstripe um, or something of that nature, then are you, you have to pay a yearly fee for that. So you may want to consider charging a small amount for music or you might want to leave it depending on budgets. If you're, a, if you're thinking about purchasing your royalty-free music on something like um, Audio Jungle or Premium Beat, then you need to account for this when you're pricing up the job. Next, we're looking at animation and text. Being clear with your client what is expected. 
There's a huge surge in subtitles now and generating those and there are many applications online that you can pay for to do this for you. But do you want to be writing that all out? So be clear, what are they after in terms of text and how do they want that text to appear on screen? And you need to price that up accordingly if you're gonna use external software or you may be that you've accounted for this in your editing rate already, but do think about text and any animation that they want on screen as well. Now finally, travel. Travel you should be charging for, and the going rate is 45p per mile if you're driving by car. If you're taking the train, then you're well within your right to charge for train fare. And again, each project might vary, but you should be charging for these things. I hope you found this helpful and it should outline the things you need to be thinking about when you're pricing up a project to make sure that you are getting everything that you deserve so there's complete transparency within your relationship. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you over on our Perspective Academy Facebook group soon.